Good to see you, Fitz Dog. So good to be back. There we go. Uh, Fitz has some live shows coming up. Uh, DC Draft House Theater. That is uh, Friday. That would be uh, May uh, 18th. And uh, Saturday the 19th. And then uh, Poughkeepsie, New York coming up uh, on Saturday. That's uh, June 2nd. And then uh, June 24th, uh, Philadelphia Helium Comedy Club. A great comedy club right in there on uh, Friday, uh, June 22nd. Through the uh, 24th. Good to see you, man. Just don't go to that Starbucks there in <laughs> Philly. <laughs> Yeah. Don't loiter. Yeah. Order something or get out. And, and don't order a black coffee no, either. No, 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 not the time. No. 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 Heavy cream. <laughs> that, all cream. <laughs> all cream. I saw one time, I was at a Starbucks, and I was thinking about loitering. And uh, in Santa Monica, nice Starbucks. I used to hang out there and try to write my jokes. A solid two to three every six months. And this guy, a homeless guy, walks in, and I, I, I remember this forever. He had on a comic relief sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like the team jersey yeah. of the homeless guy. Oh, no, it was Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> it was supposed to be a fundraiser for <laughs> homeless people. Right, right. This right. was an admission that they had come up a little short. <laughs> <laughs> he was sending so, a message. Yeah, so he comes in, and he, he parks his cart out front, chirps it. Wow. Yeah, he had, had an alarm on it. And then he comes inside and he takes a, a cup out of the garbage, proceeds to fill it with 2% milk, and just take a seat in the leather chair, kick back. And they didn't throw him out. Oh. Is it a Starbucks for loitering? Yes, Isn't that what it's for? That's what it's for. Well, I was arguing with someone on the uh, radio about this earlier today, which is they go, their business model is free Wi Fi and come on down. <laughs> that's right. I said, their business model is sell you a $5 cup of coffee. And free yeah. Wi-Fi, not yeah. not sell you any coffee and come on down for free Wi-Fi. That's a tough business model to wrap your <laughs> mind around. Or <laughs> dot org. Yes, but yeah, it's a it's a, it's a library that ha- that serves I, coffee. I would be the worst manager of any Starbucks, and I've said this for e- e- fifteen years. When people go in there and they get their Rolodex out and they put their spreadsheets right. around and they put up a dry erase board <laughs> over the window and they call their secretary. <laughs> they get they get on the pager here. Right. Miss Emily, could you come in here, please? Yeah. And then she comes in from a coffee bean right. and tea leaf from down the street. Excuse yes. me, you can't set up your miniature she, putting kit. Yes, yeah, she, she gets out a steno pad. He's <laughs> banging her on a sofa. <laughs> like he's got a globe with a scotch in it. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Drysdale, come in here, please. Yeah, he's got a brandy <laughs> snifter and offers a drink to somebody. <laughs> right. How can I soar with eagles when I work with yeah, turkeys? Yeah, hanging up motivational signs all around. And there's accessories. <laughs> oh, I, would go, right. I would throw their ass right, right out. And I right. feel the same way about every place, bookstore, magazine rack. When you see the guy just set up in the middle of the magazine rack... And he he just bivouacks there. He pulls yeah. out the car and driver. He he pulls out the home and garden. Then he sits like Indian style down and just devours all these magazines. And then he puts them back and then leaves. Like sure. he spends his Saturday sucking up your air conditioning yeah. and reading your periodicals. I couldn't manage that place. Well, what's the under over on loitering on one cup of coffee? What color? How, what oh, color? how much time? How okay. much time do you get? The the thing here's the thing. Here's how I look at it. If I made a like you can beat me on a technicality you know what i mean if i do one of those things where it's like hey either you get your pizza in 20 minutes or less or it's delivered free and you can prove it's 20 minutes in one second i gotta kind of eat it pardon the pun on that one if i say there's no limit just come in as long as you order something you can sit here for as long as you you may i would not have that policy but my thing would be you got to eat it someone says if you said order one small cup of coffee and you can sit here for 11 hours then that's it that's yeah. your policy but if your policy is you got to buy something before you use the bathroom then you got to buy something right yeah the bathroom is uh when they start putting a code in yeah. that's the worst that's a song. when you're They're when you're pinching one now. back and your your legs are starting to tremble, and you're trying to remember the six number code mm-hmm. to get in there. Right, and you can smell it. You can right. smell the fecal matter, which it just generates more of a release of your muscles in response. your cheeks. Yeah, because yeah. you know you're there. You're there. I had a moment today. Oh. Uh, I was walking uh, Philly cheesesteak, my dog, and I was far enough from home. 
and I could feel a little churn from a uh, little too much coffee and a little MCT oil that morning. You start to thought, do the math of how far away you are. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. not sure if I'm making it back to the pad. And then I saw like the Sprouts supermarket uh, up yeah. on the corner. And then I started. You guys ever do? You run through that quick bathroom math you're, you're like a tom brady checking down you show up you see the defense you see the guy shifting around like an oliver stone movie yeah pointing and shifting and you, you know start doing routes are. like i'm yeah. like okay where's the bathroom the bathroom's in the back the bathroom's yeah. not just in the frozen section it's like it's somewhere you got to go through weird doors in or weird warehouse. plastic curtain start thing yelling or something. adjustments to your ass right right <laughs> blue 82 omaha kill, kill, omaha kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. so, <laughs> so and then i was like Oh shit! I don't have any money on me. Can I get? I'm white. I got that. Well, they left the the dog in. The dog's black. The dog's staying outside. (laughs) Black lamb, white owner. It's a push. I'm not buying anything. But the chick always talks me up behind the counter. Like Uh she, she knows who I am. She saw Dancing with the Stars. She knows I'm a big star. I could probably go in there and use the bathroom. Should I pretend to look for something and then ask to use the bathroom? I do a move where I'm holding up like a a bottle of spumante or something, and I go, "Where can I set this down before I purchase it with cash?" I gotta use the bathroom and then slink out through the window. I decided to suck it up and truck it home. Ugh. No. How'd that, that work out? Did tick stops? It worked out. It yeah. normally doesn't because normally when it gets put up on the display, on the menu, mm-hmm. on the on the specials <laughs> yeah. board of, oh, I mean, ordered. I can take exactly. a dump. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's, now it's now it's a fate of complete. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I remember yeah. being at a star. Sorry. I was at a Starbucks one time and I went and uh, I had to go bad. It was like I was I was there. I'd had a couple of uh, Americanos. Mm hmm. The churning was happening. You start thinking about what I you never even thought ate about the it, but day. they have to know. I mean, I, I I never did the take a dump math, but the number coffee, one yeah. take a dump is coffee. It's a I laxative mean, shop. You're right. sitting in a laxative shop, right? Yeah. So I so I get the code and uh, and I'm I shimmy down the hallway to get there, and I see a woman and she's got a little kid and she's trying the door and it's locked. Mm-hmm. And I was like, excuse me. I got the code. Right. And she goes, well, do you mind if we run in first? She's got a kid who's about four who's red-faced. This kid's bent <laughs> right. over. He's got to sure. go. And I was like, sorry, sweetie. I got the code. Oh, wow. And I went inside, and I and I sat back on the back of that bowl. Lined it. Oh, yeah. Lined it. Good. A lot of paper. Because somebody, somebody carved their initials into the... That's love. Common. That's, that's... Your name plus Angie into Equals a toilet, toilet seat. seat. Yeah. yeah. So I kick back. So I, I, let, I let it go. Like several several rounds, you know, where you do your initial release, mm, right. and then you got to wait for it to drop back into the chute, like right. you're, like you're loading a firearm again mm-hmm. into the breach. Yeah. Back into the breach. Few of those. Like one of those birds that dips into the beaker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, a, a solid wipe session, and then uh, I come out. And the kid is standing there, wet pants, Aww. crying. Mom glares at me. I'm like, got to get the code, sweetheart. Yeah. You got to get the code. What did we learn? Well, this yeah. story, so here's here's where I come down on, on the story. Um, we don't know. I was asking Max Zapata some questions about this, which is, I am curious, A, how much black traffic goes through this place. Now, I'm assuming Philadelphia, and it's in the city there. I'm, because this, this feels weird and novel to go, I am going to be racist against these two guys if there's plenty of black faces coming through here on a regular basis and or people working here. It's a weird call to make. And or these black guys are realtors, so they're dressed nice. Are they realtors? Yeah. I did not know that. They're yeah. letting them sell it. They're selling it. To other black people. To other black people. Yeah, yeah. okay. For uh, faulty loans. Whoo, yeah, of course. Craig, they won't those, keep the houses. One of those dudes is wearing a hoodie. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't a realtor. <laughs> were they? So, well, they were. That was it. No, they were. They were waiting for. Were, no, no, no. They were waiting for another guy to talk about some investment opportunity. I know. But yeah, they were dressed uh, nice. Like, I'm like, hold on a second. They weren't like wearing three piece suits. Yeah, that's like uh, Trail Sprewell back there, not uh, yeah, uh, one yeah. of the friendly. Yeah, yet, he's but. got on sweatpants. Okay. They're not. I'm not they're not nice houses. Getting locked up. I'm just saying. Let's. You know, why tell is the story? The, why does the cop have a bicycle? He bicycled over to Starbucks to arrest him. Yeah, I guess he's planning on getting a donut and wanted to work it off, so he left the squad car back at the precinct. At least, that's all. Look, I'm no detective. So, there's a few things I want to know. Like, I want to know how many black folk comes through there. Because if you're in Lily White, wherever, and they've never seen a black face in their neighborhood, that's, that's different to me. I'm trying to weigh everything. I'm trying yeah. to figure out. Now, 
I also wanted to know how long they were there, because that makes a difference to me, too. If they were there for five minutes, you can't ask them to leave. If they're there for an hour or more and they're not ordering anything, then maybe you can ask them to leave. Then the other part was I wanted to know what the race of the manager was, but it doesn't say anywhere. And that makes me suspicious because... Yes, hello. My name is Graham Wellington. If that's a white dude, if that's Graham Wellington, we should know that the white, like, I feel like yeah, all the things would say the white yeah. male man manager, he loves country music and he loves <laughs> expelling black folk from his establishment. Like, we'd hear it. But it's a woman uh-huh. that's not helping. Uh, hurts. And it's not saying her ethnicity. And I feel like we're living in a time where we always know, like, they'll go, one black officer, one white officer yeah, right. shot the black yeah. suspect. Ooh. It's like it's a everything gets labeled. Yeah. I assume now that she may be black. And the reason I assume she's black is because black is screwing up the narrative. Mm. If she's white, it flies in the face of the narrative. The women is not helping. She, but could, she could be Korean and make it all make sense. Yeah, yes. she's Korean Jewish. Right. <laughs> so, Max, bad if you found out also and there's a whole bunch of things. All right. If whoever manages anything tells you to leave, you're allowed just to get up and leave. Like that's that's my policy. Never go back or get up on on tweet out say I was Last treated uh, unfairly or whatever. Whether it's an airplane or Starbucks, when when whoever's in charge goes, just get out you got to get up and leave. Just yeah. got to leave. And then if you wait it out long enough for when the cops show up, when the cops then say you must get up and leave, then just get up and leave. It's 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 a better life for for all. Number one. Number two, I'm not down with everything as racism. I, I've said it many times. There's many more assholes than there are racists. Look no further than this scenario last Sunday at uh, one of my wife and I's uh, favorite breakfast joints. You ever have that thing? She had backed <clears throat> her Tesla X into the spot. It was a nice move. She backed it into the spot. Then there was this. We were getting ready to leave, and because it's a little bit of a bustling breakfast joint, people are sort of waiting for spots and doing that. Not a lot of open spots. And there was a guy, middle-aged guy, uh, just kind of sitting in a nicer truck who was not blocking us but back far enough and in front of us so that when you when we pulled out of our parking spot, we'd be turning. We'd, we'd just be nose-to-nose with him. And he's just sitting there. And there's nobody behind him, and the only exit is behind him. That's where the street is. And I'm looking at him, and he's looking at us, and I'm, like, going to Lynette. Well, he's going to move over, back up a little, let us get out of here. And he's watching us, and Lynette just does – she starts going, and I go, well, how's this going to end? And she just turns and then, like, stops short of him. He's just watching us. Then she puts it in reverse and starts to do this maneuver. Mm -hmm. And he could have just slid back five feet and we would have just pulled right out. And he was watching, like he was staring at us the whole time, knowing, well, how are you going to get out with me sitting here? Like Dick. he never moved forward or backward. He wasn't texting or mussing with the big, de- defroster. It wasn't, no, there was, it was like, you know, everything's big, but it was, it was Toyota and it wasn't, it didn't say anything. Like he didn't have a, a lift kit on it or mud womper tires or uh, Sierra Club take a hike to hell bumper sticker or anything I enjoy, you know. <laughs> Nothing. He was just sort of sitting there. He was just watching us and he was just like going thing like, oh, kind of good luck with your extra maneuvering, like attempting to get out of here. And look, if I were black, I'd just go, the guy doesn't like black. Guy doesn't like black people. Like, well, but it, I'm, but I'm not. So I just know he's a garden variety dick, or just out of it dick, or whatever. And I think we're living in a time where if you're going to expel a couple brothers from your, it's like when people go, oh, come on, why else would they do it? It has to be racist. I'm like, I think it's the opposite. I think th- you don't want to do it now because this is going to happen to you. You have to know, like, this is where this is going. Like, why, if you're managing, like, do you want to risk your career? Do you want to risk any of this? Like, I would give these two brothers so much more leeway than I would give a couple of white guys in terms of how I treated them or where they're on the clock or not, just because of this climate we're in. But if I was a black manager chick, I might not mm. now you got impunity it's curious max apata that that's not at the front of every story oh, i only see one um one publication daily mail that that uh, 
produced like a picture of the manager and she's white. <gasps> but, yeah, white, 31. Pickup truck? But, <laughs> but I don't know why it, nobody else is reporting it. And so I don't know how credible it is yet. I'm, I'm still looking into it. It's weird. It's usually the first thing uh, up. Anyway, how long were they there? Did we figure that one out? That has not been figured out yet. Although they did send Starbucks wisely sent the, not the CEO, but originally the COO made the statements because she was B-L-A-C-K. The COO. Oh, oh smart. Which scored yeah. some mm-hmm. major points. He should, uh, or she should, invite them over to have a um, coffee summit, malt liquor summit. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> or fortify right. and anything. Shit. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you about. Uh, it's weird. See, news is weird because if those guys were there for two minutes and you kicked them out, that's racism. Mm. If they're there for two hours and you kick them out, that's not racism. So to me, the, the time is all yeah. I need to know for what you did and how long they're there. And uh, now, in general, I'm not down with people that just feel like they can go to a go to a Costco and, and load up on free samples and then leave. Like I just I don't like this business model of I'm going to go eat. I'm going to go eat a bunch of free grapes at the supermarket and then walk out the front. I don't like any, uh, I don't like the free dogs on the plane. I don't like their, I'm treating Starbucks as my own personal uh, den. I I don't like any of that stuff. I feel like you should pay. And I also feel like somebody's paying. Whether it's you eating the grapes at the supermarket or loading up, somehow that's got a pencil out and you're adding nine cents to a cup of my coffee. So in general, I'm against people that want to use and I don't like when anyone demands the right to use anything Ooh. for free. Yeah. But on the other hand, I like the part where businesses are courteous and let people right. use the bathroom and things like of that nature club. as well. I, I'd, like strip to, club. Yeah. I'd like to tease a headline. Um, uh, Can I say this yeah. about a strip club? Yeah. Their cash it's machine, the strip club ATM. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the ATM at like, you know, uh, Golden Areolas in Vegas or whatever it was. Got myself like 200 bucks worth of 20s. It was like a $10 surcharge. Sure. And I at thought, least. Where are you going? Right, but if there was one place on the planet where they should waive that, it should be the place where you're balling up the 20s and yeah. throwing them right back at the ATM. Well, like, uh, like literally. Yeah. I get it. I get it at the airport. I, I get it at the filling station. Well, I like they, I get that's a two dollar commission. You're, you're in a fantasy world at that at that point. I, I, I know twenty year old money. women who are asking you to sit on your lap. Do you think a twenty dollar surcharge is going to suddenly rock you? I know back we're into living reality? in a world where a fresca is eleven dollars yeah. and a pack of cigarettes is twenty three fifty. I, you're I tip get a guy it after taking a piss. But the one Thank place you. they should just go. Please take all yeah. the money out of this. You can put it right yeah, back right. into it. It's is that well, place. the casino is the other place where yeah. the big ATM fees are, where you're again throwing money at them. Of all the places, yeah. those should be the take it free places. Yeah. No surcharge. Yeah, yeah. All right. as a courtesy. Jesus. Um, all right, sorry. I I just googled just because I, I know Chris is working hard in there, but I just googled manager Starbucks whatever, and the first headline that came up is going to make you irate. Oh boy, mm-hmm. here we go. Are you ready for it? Yes. Starbucks to close 8,000 stores for racial bias education awesome. on May 29th. Well, it's also, we now are going to get coached up on unknowing racial bias, which is there's a new brand where we know if you're black, you don't have to sit in the back of the bus and you shouldn't use this language in front of Hispanic people. Now we're going to get coached up into unintended yep. Subconscious. Racial, exactly. subconscious, mm-hmm. Rachel, Rachel, <laughs> racial, <laughs> racial bias, mm-hmm. which is a good stripper name, Rachel Bias. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> if anyone's got a pot left to piss in after using the ATM, come on down to State Street and throw a couple of $20 bills at Rachel Bias. <laughs> She's mixed. It's showing the reviews in her twat. <laughs> Jade, stay four, stay four, Jade. A little busy, yeah. Well, you know, I think racial, I think racial, uh, uh, what, what are they calling it? How do we coach racial up? Racial bias. Racial bias, yeah. racial sensitivity at Starbucks is teaching the employees how to spell black names. Yeah. Oh, that's, 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 a, that's a weak one. Why conference. would you, this ain't how you spell Shaquina. Oh, no, you're right. That's got to be, a, that's got to be a disaster. <laughs> yeah. We got to bring back, uh, champ and sport. You know what yeah. I mean? Gosh, hey, champ. Chief. Hey, sport. I liked it when everyone older than you just called you champ. Yeah, hey, right. champ. How you doing, there you champ? Go, Sparky. Hey, you wanna, big guy. You want extra room for cream? All right. I'm going to. Bucko? I do put, I put cream 
But I never say room for cream because I feel like that's an excuse for them just to go halfway. Sure, yeah. right. I'll make my own. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some genius in marketing own. came up with that. You know, we can make $200 million a quarter <laughs> yeah. by, by, by taking Giving an eighth an inch off exactly. those coffee. For cream. I, I, less coffee. I hope yeah. one day... There's a there's a cruise on Geffen's yacht. One guy's just smoking a cigarette with an extender on it yeah. on, on the bow. You know, and the wind goes through his, his locks. And another guy comes up to him holding a brandy snifter. And he's like, what you doing? I invented room for cream. <laughs> I made <coughs> Starbucks uh, 200 million in one quarter by simply having everyone fill the cup three quarters of the way. What'd you invent? Uh <coughs> I invented still water or sparkling. <laughs> Fooled everyone into right. buying. Yeah. When they thought they're getting a cup of water from the tap. Charge right. them eleven bucks for a bottle of just yeah. still yeah. water. Right. That's my That's thing. Right. What'd you do? Tooth whitener. Tooth whitener. <laughs> Welcome aboard the SS Bait and Switch. <laughs> they, <laughs> That's right. They should do that at Cheesecake Factory. Is it a room for dessert? And then right. serve a slightly smaller entree. Oh yeah. yeah. Room yeah. for cream, by the way, great porno title. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Write about. that down. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you about uh, him. 65% of men start losing their hair by age 35. Sorry, fellas. <laughs> Forhims.com.